Hello friends and once again welcome to bhpsolution.com. My name is Amit and today I'm going to show you an interesting example for Oracle Enterprise Data Management Cloud Service. Uh, this is an example for node type converter. So let's understand the requirement first. So in my requirement there are two applications. I have one custom or universal application called NetSuite. Right. So I put a first application called NetSuite. NetSuite application is the universal or custom application. And I have a dimension over here called employee, employee dimension. For the sake of simplicity, I kept only one dimension. This is going to be my target application. Or oh, that's going to be my source. And in this, uh, I have an employee dimension. An employee dimension has got various properties. I can show you. Uh, different properties I have under view. So let's see the default view got created when I register an application call employee, right? So I have a employee property called employee name, employee ID, email ID, employee ID name and uh, company name, right? So this is going to be my source application. We can even create this as a target application. It could be bi-directional uh, to bi-directional node type converter. This is one application. Another application I have, I'll make it as a target application in this example. And I have another application called Oracle planning application, which is actually PBCS. And for the sake of simplicity, I kept only one dimension along with the standard dimension called employee. So there's another application called corporate planning and the default viewpoint is corporate planning with an additional property called the dimension called employee. And I have a property called employee name, which is actually employee ID, the parent node, and then there are children. And we have all the standard planning dimension property. In addition to this, there's a property called employee ID, right? So what I want over here, uh, in my requirement, I have an employee ID, employee email ID, email ID. And in my source application, suppose the employee email ID, I give it at Amit George Sharma at bispsolution.com. Right, I give it in my source. I need to create a node type converter where the employee name <coughs> and the company name will be taken automatically from the email id so employee name will be taken my target application employee name will be taken as will take substring substring function uh, for employee from employee id i'm not writing in syntax just writing a logic from email id it will take zero to same position position of at the rate right it means this is your employee name isn't it so the employee name and the company name system should automatically extract from the email id same expression substring but the starting position would be the position of x basically position of x is called index of uh, the right syntax is index of it will take the index position of x index position of at the rate okay. index position of at the rate it will take from here plus one otherwise system will take you know at the rate bhp solution i want position of at the rate plus one to the length of the string this is my expression and this will extract the company name Let's see how to perform this. So I already have a source and target. I created one uh, viewpoint called employee master or employee master viewpoint. There I, in this viewpoint, in this view, I created two viewpoints, one for from corporate planning, one for NetSuite. Okay, now I'm going to create node type converter. So when you create node type converter, you always use a target node. In NetSuite, click on uh, inspect, select node type, right employee and then define node type converter right so i've chosen over here i'll add it delete and create it again okay. 
I created in the past. So here you select the target application, which is actually corporate planning. So from corporate planning, uh, I'll select employee. employee from my corporate planning application so by default system applies copy expression the name gets copy from source to target the employee ID gets copy but employee name i want to apply as an expression so we apply transform function right and then you see the moment you use transform the define expression option automatically pop up now define expression over here so employee name i want to use a substring function of employee ID from zero position from zero through the index of at the rate. This is my expression. Let's start. So I use source node dot properties dot properties. Uh, what the property it is employee ID. Okay, and we use substring function right from zero to the position of at the rate. So I apply source node dot properties dot employee id employee email id dot index of at the rate right let's click on apply you can even export and import transform uh, expression as well now again i am going to apply em employee company which is also apply from my expression same i say well it will take source node dot properties dot properties dot email id it will take from where at the at the rate position to length of the string so i apply same index of value of at the rate then on top of this i add plus one add plus one otherwise it will take at the rate bhp solution which i do not want i want bhp solution.com name of my company and then i apply this and uh, substring to at the rate uh, i didn't use substring function once again uh, so it will take correction substring substring the index position of at the rate properties dot employee id employee email id sorry dot index of at the rate plus i add one right. till the length of the string length of my entire email id so source node dot properties dot employee properties dot employee email id dot length i use length function length right it will take at the rate plus one to length so we define both transformation now we apply this and test it so i open them in a side by side uh, side by side view side by side view my source is planning and my target is target is my net suite so first i'm going to add one sample employee over here let me create one sample employee I add one more employee, add sibling, give some value here, EMP, EMP, 1002, okay. Uh, default name, then I'm gonna give email ID. Okay. So I'm giving, going to give email ID, let's say this, this is tabby at the rate bispsolution.com. Isn't it? I give bspsolution.com and then I save it. I added new employee. Now the same employee I want to add it into my net suite. So how do I do this? Just drag and drop. Right? Source is your planning application and target is your net suite application. That's the beauty of it. This is your new employee. Oh. oh, did I save it? I would have added one employee, right? 
let's check this not visible here quickly check the, the employee we added over here just now in our employee master if not added i am going to add it now okay uh, yes to my source application oh how come it is not added let's add it quickly probably i forgot to hit the save button add sibling quickly um, yeah employee is emp 002 right and then i'm going to add a email id Okay, so this is tabby at the rate bisp solutions.com submit i think i forgot to submit last time and done now i'm going to open this in a side by side view and show you how uh, you can perform node type converter employee master which entails the master view for managing all employees so my source is planning and targeted net suite right click on new request drag and drop drag and drop and you see the new employee 002 got added employee id this is employee id now look at this it has taken sub string from the email id first four characters your employee name and remaining characters excluding at the rate is your company name that's it this is one of the simple scenario of node type converter so stay tuned with bisp solution uh, youtube channel in a subsequent example i'll talk about more advanced cases of uh, node type converter thank you for watching this video